Hello friends and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Legends. I'm Cardi Star. Today we're going to be playing a uh, Date House of Dagoth deck uh, that I put together based on a list I found online. I'll post the link in the description. This uh, Dagoth deck is not meant to be a control. It's meant to be a mid-range with a lot of uh, drain uh, and draw power, which is a little bit more my speed compared to uh, other control decks that I'm not really fond of playing. So we're going to give this deck a try. This is literally my uh, first time playing it um, and I'm recording it so you'll probably see me make some misplays uh, which is totally fine uh, as I'm learning the deck as I go. So we went ahead through everything back and it looked like uh, that was a good play to make. Nothing turn one. Turn two we can play Ward Crafter not ideal since we're just throwing the ward back on ward craft ward crafter itself uh, but since we can use archer's gambit shadow shift uh, we won't use sixth house amulet on it we'll go ahead and throw it down potentially use shadow shift on it next turn to draw get more cards in our hand a lot of actions right now um, which is fine we can actually play the Sanctuary pet here, which I'm tempted to play. And I think that's what we'll do. And I think we'll go face. Next turn, we can use Archer's Gambit. Um, Potentially. Hmm. So I think this is how we're going to play this. We're going to shadow shift. Draw a card. We're going to break the ward. We're going to use Archer's Gambit. We're going to kill their rally. And we're going to kill the... The Daggerfall Mage and I think we'll go ahead and shadow shift again just to continue drawing cards we've got Dagoth her in our hand which potentially is the game ender that we're looking for <coughs> so we'll probably throw we'll fighters guild recruit in front of time. this Bleak Coast Troll. If I fall, the east will reclaim me. So we're not. We can take out this guard and still survive. We don't get the uh, plus five uh, equals ward effect. But that's fine. We've got Telvos Magister um, to play next next turn. We've got. Cradle Crush Giant if we need to. Hmm. Don't feel great about getting rid of the Bleak Coast Troll. I suppose we can play. I don't know. Maybe Perhaps play Telvos Magister in the Shadow Your Lane. Go face. Don't have an immediate answer for Bleak Coast Troll. Which is unfortunate. It's a strong card for my opponent right now. I will my opponent for them. is playing the uh, tribunal deck which is definitely control heavy alright so they they do have a guard out now so I think we kill this guard we Kill all the other creatures in this lane. Mm. 
keep the Magister alive. He'll continue to make wards for us. And now we've got two heavy hitters in the shadow lane. One of them with cover. And really, we're I think we're kind of stalling uh, until we can get Dagoth Ur out. Alright, so they've officially killed the Magister. So I think we've got... Shackle and kill, and we've got drain for next turn. Get some health back. We are going to go face. I'm not worried about breaking runes. <coughs> Excuse me. A little distraction might prove useful. All right, that's a good play by my opponent. I keep the rally alive. We are going to kill the Bleak Coast Troll. I think we are going to play Vigilant Giant over here. Kill the Rally so that they can't immediately kill my uh, Vigilant Giant. And keep my Drain alive. And I've got Cells Through Storms, which is a strong next turn. I can start immediately summoning creatures off the top of my deck. And I've got a big guard that it can hide behind until it's able to get Pilfer. And I get the bonus, defe bonus effect of the... Um, the Bjornoff's um, pilfer keywords. So I'm interested to see how my opponent responds here. We're doing 12 damage. I smell the stench of the living. So we can break through that. The tribunal will always <coughs> count to the people's aid. Behold the tribunal's my power. Follower. That becomes a little bit more difficult. But I think we still play Cells Through Storms in the Shadow Lane next turn. Maybe My we play it in the field lane. I'm not sure. Alright, so we've got another guard to throw fall, down. I think we break through here. I can we smell you sacrifice drain there. We do if play Sails Through it, Storms. We do play Daggerfall Mage. Probably could have played that in the field lane. And we're pretty strong right now. And it looks like Dagoth Ur may be our game ender here. Do an 8 damage. If, if the mage loses the ward, I get plus 2, which will put us up to 10. So if I can get my opponent down to 10 health, uh, then I can secure the game by turn 12. This deck feels much more comfortable uh, for me with my play style uh, than other Dagoth decks that I've, I've tried today. I tried the uh, first place finishing Dagoth deck, and that player played a lot of control, which it seemed like they were comfortable doing. I, I don't think serve. I've been playing long enough to really feel good Not about playing rain. control. So my opponent's put me in a difficult situation, um, but nothing I can't overcome here. So I think what we do is. Many Play Arcano, Breakthrough, and secures the win next turn. We kill this guard, we pilfer, and my opponent comes up and didn't even get a chance to use Dagoth. So yeah, that's the uh, mid-range, drain-heavy uh, Dagoth deck. As you can see, I'm in the Serpent, um, primarily because I've been trying a lot of control decks and they just don't work for me. Uh, but I'll go ahead and upload this, this video and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll continue to play this deck for a little bit. And uh, if, you're, if you like it, please leave a like. Feel free to comment if you have um, observations on my, on my play. 
And if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.